Okay. All right, now here we are at the bottom of the dam, and you can just picture the, sh the, the sheer size of this thing is just crazy. I don't know if you can see the ladder on top, but can anybody say sketchy? Now, if you look down here, we're actually standing down in the creek bottom. So just imagine the amount of water that would have been held up by this thing. It flooded this entire canyon. Alright, so again, here we are on the other side of the dam, and I, I was able to figure out the, me the measurements here. It was actually 600 feet across, all the way across, and 70 feet tall from top to bottom. This is still one of the top 10 best abandoned places in Colorado. Alright, now here we are, just a little bit across now, and you can actually see where the dam attached to the other side, and when it actually burst, this thing was filled all the way to the top. We'll try to climb up top and get you some better views. You did get this? Yeah. All right, now here we are at the top of the dam and right, let's see, right there is actually the road that runs through. And then here's the start of the dam. Here's what's left of the 600 feet that went across. It's actually broken right about there. Now you're not allowed to climb on the dam, I think for obvious safety reasons. And uh, actually when the dam was first built, it was reported that j just immediately after it was built that it actually had leaks and cracks in the structure and the foundation before it was even really a dam, before it even had the opportunity to break. All right, now here we are at the shallow end of the dam. Uh, I was mistaken, this isn't the road. The road is just, just right, right up there. Now, I don't know if it was, this was like a, a potential spillway part of the dam or what, but, just something else really cool that I'd like to show you guys. Yeah, you come over here and here's the actual dam. You can actually kind of see the different separate layers and how the dam was built. And if you actually walk around, if you hang on a second, I'll try to get you a better view. All right, now here's kind of the other side, not down inside the gully so much. And you can actually see the layers on the side, how it was built actually kind of looks like the side of a pyramid. Now it started raining on August 2nd and the dam ended up breaking August 3rd, the very next day. And when this broke, there was so much water, it actually pushed a 50 foot wave all the way down through the canyon, down through all these trees, all this brush co cover and everything. Now here is actually the view from the road now, so you can actually get a little bit of a, kind of a small bird's eye view 
just the sheer size of this. All right, now right here, uh, sorry it's a little dark, we're at the end of our journey here. And this is actually the home of the Lucas family. Uh, it was Margaret, Patrick, and three other children. Uh, this is actually downstream of the dam that we were at earlier. And this would have been the first wall that got hit when that giant 50 foot wave of water came down. And remarkably, a majority of the house is still standing today. Um, it, again, it's just, it's just amazing. They, they were in their house when the rain started falling down over here. And after the dam busted, it came through and, you know, took out the Lucas family home, uh, this homestead home here and carried all the way on down flooded streets in Denver and just wreaked havoc all the way down. Uh, I don't know if you can really see the house or not. I'm trying to, trying to shine a light here for you. Uh, here's the entrance way to the cellar right here. You can actually walk right through the cellar into the main main open foundation of the home. Here's inside the cellar entrance way. Here's inside inside the walls of the home. And right there is probably the front door. Just simply amazing. All the history that we have here in Colorado, even if it's as simple as the dam and the simple Lucas family home. I'd like to uh, thank you on behalf of Cools Paranormal for joining me, Keegan, and my girlfriend, who. Uh, came out to help us today and uh, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Abandoned Colorado.